Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Ink of Today, we're playing some Stone Hearth. Welcome to Rockside, version 3. I know, version 3, look at this. It's all version 3 like, it's fantastic, it's not fantastic at the same time. It's pretty good right now. I had to get another fucking save done because it updated again. However, I'm now on Alpha 9, the, the non latest build, so I shouldn't have that problem at all now, since it's now in full Alpha 9. Now I can just sort of, you know, try and keep building this before it like crashes and bugs out, which is, you know, pretty fantastic. I'm having a really annoying save issue right now, where sometimes it doesn't let me save. However, there is an automatic save prop, well, uh, thing. So, uh, hopefully that should, that should work. Although it doesn't tell me how peri periodically it does save. It just seems to be quite random. I imagine it's like every five or ten minutes. I'm not really too sure. However, Welcome to Rockside. What are we doing today? How well, yeah. let's start that again. Well, I kind of want to get like a moat done right here. I want to get like a moat slash drawbridge thing, a castle wall thing, and then, you know, we'll do stuff, basically. <laughs> I'm only going to go record for an hour because I had to, it took me a few hours to actually get all this done, unfortunately, going off and on all the time, and also the saving, pretty annoying. However, We've got our cave right over here, which looks a little bit different, but it's fine. Uh, we've got all of our roads set up. We've got that masonry right here. And also, I'm setting up some of these uh, stone brazes on top of the... On top of the... F uh, what the hell? Why can't I remember what this is called? Why? Chimney. There we go. <laughs> My brain's not working today. It hasn't been working for... Well, since I was born, really. It's kind of an issue, to be honest with you. The, the problem with this is that, I mean, fire doesn't really come from the top of a chimney. However, it looked nice, so I thought I'd do it. Also, we have a chimney and a second floor in our farming house right here, which doesn't look too great right now because I keep trying to put fences across here. But when I do, for some reason, it then bugs out and doesn't let me save. It's a bit weird. But we'll see what happens if I do it again. I'll just see if I can actually save afterwards. But this is about the fifth time I've tried to put fences along this wall without it bugging out. Let's see if it actually works this time. That'd be pretty fantastic. And then we can actually get on to doing some real stuff. We've got to get a lot of mining done. So we're going to see if we can cut down. Deforestate sort of this wall right here. We've got this little patch of nothingness right here that we need to get rid of. So we need to get like a ladder set up. We just get one right there. Also, for some reason, I think they keep... Yeah, they're just neglecting that brazier right there for some reason. I'm not really too sure. It's a bit strange. We've got some along there, and also I think I've got some inside the the, ki the cave to make it look nicer, yeah. It looks really good at night with the uh, illumination of the door. Also on the inside, we've got... Actually, I don't think I've got the rugs anymore. No, okay, I don't have the rugs. That's really annoying. I did get some rugs earlier, but I think I bugged out, so it's fine. Oh yeah, I need to set up my signs as well. That'd be a good idea. So much to do right now. Okay, we'll get that sign right there, and we'll get a normal sign because this is meant to be the farming area. And we'll need to go in and actually have a farm. I haven't set up a farm right now because we have a ridiculous amount of berries. So we just get most of our food from this stuff. But it's always nice. A rugged adventure has apparently arrived. We don't need any leather because I think I've already bought a ridiculous amount of leather. Yeah, well, not a ridiculous amount, but enough. Also, we are attacked by goblins. And I got a giant bone mace for it, which is pretty fantastic. And I've got a lot of shields, as you can see, because they sell for like 70 each. It's kind of ridiculous since they're so cheap to make. Right, so let's see. Oh, oh there we go. Now, uh, everything. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm, I'm just not going to bother putting fences up here because it just bugs out all the time. <laughs> right, if I just go ahead and actually start making this farm right here. Um, for some reason, it goes off in that way, I think. So, really, we'll do like five across. We want to have a fairly large farm. We still need to get a farmer, actually. And we'll have them two apart. So, we've got turnips. We've got corn right here. And we've got ourselves some pumpkins, and I think we'll get some silkweed as well. We'll get like two stacks of the silkweed, but I'll have it six by five, like this. That's actually six by six. Maybe I've done it six. Yeah, okay. I haven't actually. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, maybe I have. We'll just do two silkweed right here. We'll be able to get some fences set up though. We need to get some fence doors though. That'd probably be a good idea. I'm, you know, I'm just waiting for it to break again. I'm not gonna lie. If I get this set up, there we go. We'll get the signs place. We'll get one right there and another one over this side. There we go. We'll speed it up. Got a really weird sort of pattern right here for our town center. I'm probably going to change it because I think it's going to look, it looks a bit weird. It looks nice but weird at the same time. I feel like we need like grass and stuff around here. 
But we haven't really got any nice flowers or anything to put down yet. I guess that would be a good reason to make flowers now that I think about it. But I don't think you can plant flowers individually, so... Maybe you can. Do we have any on us right now? We don't have anything on us right now. <laughs> well, we do have some stuff, but not a great amount of things. Get some uh, wall-mounted uh, lamps as well. That'd be a pretty good idea. There we go. We'll get some over there. We'll get one right here, because I don't want it to overpower the light that illuminates from the stone braziers right there. I'm not sure what level our masonry is right now, but I think it's probably... He's probably got a high enough level to make a blacksmith's hammer, I believe. I, he can make some stone walls, so make like five of them, and then we'll make a hammer. There we are. Rugged Survivalist once again. Nope, don't bother with him. Seems to be in order right here. I don't like the... I don't know what I've done here. It's kind of big. It's kind of ugly, so I might want to change that in later builds if I have the ability to do so. Also, let's go ahead and make ourselves a farmer. They're all like crying right now because of shelter. It's pretty fantastic. All right, let's see. Get the farmer. We only need one farmer for all this. Not many, it's not much, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Also, let's go ahead and start harvesting this grass, uh, well, these trees, not really the grass. We'll just get this area done for now because I, I don't want them to bug out. <laughs> there we are. And also we'll go ahead and get a ladders. Get our ladder set up. There we go. And they should be able to just go and chop all those trees down. Harvest all the wood. We'll have to make a closer, a closer stockpile for all that wood, though. We, I think we want our town hall over here. That would be a good idea. We'll eventually chop all the trees down and get that sorted out. It's going to be a bit of a pain to do, though. Since we won't be able to get it all connected. I have got this, this cave saved, though. I've got the cave saved. I haven't got the masonry saved because I can't save it because this is an individual part. And I haven't got this saved, actually. I've got the fountain saved, though, so that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that's an annoying part, I suppose, but making the houses a bit of a pain. Also, they were, like, spawned in instantly, the uh, the houses right here, because they just couldn't build it. <laughs> they didn't want to. They neglected, they neglected to build it, but we will try to build the wall, but it's going to be very unlikely that we get a chance to do so. Can we actually mine along here without them sort of saying, no, screw yourself? It looks like we'll probably have the ability to do so. Mine like that. Here we go. This is going to be difficult, actually. But well, it looks like we're not going to go as far down as this. We'll probably. Actually, should we? Probably not. It'll take them way too long. So we'll probably just go like one down. And then just sort of keep going. We still need to pick all this stuff up, so maybe I'm going a bit too ham on here. If we want to go ahead and get some ladders. Sword out. I'm not too sure what layer is the lowest, actually, for these guys. I think they're on the lowest layer right now, so if we put a ladder down right here, that'd be pretty great. Oh, uh, fantastic. We'll get a bridge set up. It'll be beautiful. And connected to that bridge will be the portcullis. We want to also, like I said before, make another stockpile for wood. And we don't want it right there. We'll have it, like, right here for now. It's not really too much of a bother. Uh, it kind of is. It's going to be in the way no matter what I do. But I don't want them to have to travel that far. Now, doing all this loot thing bugs them out if I do it too much. So, I've got to be careful here. That, that might be pushing it a little bit. The reason you do the loot, though, is because they usually pick up more than one piece of wood. As you can see right here. Whereas, for some reason, if you don't do it, they just pick up one at a time and send it back. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Uh, it did crash again, and then again, and then again, and again. So, what we'll do is we'll just try and take it slow. You know, not do a big bit once. See what happens. Got the rugged survivor just keeps coming back. It's fantastic. What we'll do is we'll just cut a few trees down. You know, grab what we can. You know what, guys? You know, just go ahead and uh, make another... Where do we want to make this right now, actually? We'll, uh, we'll make another pile right here for our wood. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get the mason to make some more stuff. I'm taking it slow. You know, don't worry. Don't push the game. That's what, we want. That's what I'm saying right now. Don't push the game. Although, I'm not going to lie, I think this is affecting my mental health right now, having to record Stone Earth. So I'm probably not going to record it for a little while after this next bloody free few uh, playthroughs, because at the moment, the, the crashing is just too much for me. It's just too much. <laughs> Can't do it right now. Although, I have gone up to a 64-bit. I, I wasn't at 64-bit before because it was really laggy, but it doesn't seem to be having that problem anymore. That might work. <laughs> It should. It should work. And I've also taken the L LUA off or whatever it is. Yeah. 
You know, that might that might work. I'm not too sure. If that works, and you know, it doesn't crash as often as it was, then you know, you never know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying right now. However, I'll probably still do like maybe little build episodes or something like that. Cause it, look at this, it's not bad looking. It's all right. It will do it. It will do the job basically. It will do the job. This could do a lot of you know a lot of work right there. But that, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it right now. So let's see if we can actually go ahead and make ourselves our uh, gatehouse, I suppose, our portcullis. Let's see. How are we gonna start right now? This is all this is, just sort of a build playthrough. Let's get uh, some stone flooring in. And we want to make sure that it's a circle. And we, let's see, like 12 by 12 right now. Sort of slightly far away. That's too thin, I think. If we take it a little bit further away, like down, then about here, 12 by 12. 12 by 12, good. Oh, that's not there. Uh, maybe 13. 13 seems to be all right. So we'll do it by 13. And then we'll do it again over here. So is that equally as far away from each other? It seems like it. Yeah, that's good. Then what we'll do is we'll just round it off on the corners here. Now the thing is, these uh, these castles, well, these towers are kind of separate. So maybe we want to make them individually and then we'll just copy and paste them. That could work. Okay, but this is a good start. Right now, what we'll do is we'll go to our blocks. Because we have to use blocks, really, in order to get this properly done. And, oh, how are we going to get this started here? We want to use maybe the darker wood. Oh, I'm going to go back there. We want to use the darker blocks in order to sort of get these corners rounded off. It's got to be pretty high as well. I mean, you know, we're talking about a tower right here. It's got to work out for us right now. We want to be safe, secure against any goblin scum. I really hate when I do that. <laughs> Just slightly build out there. Um, I should really do it like this. Is that any quicker? Uh, you know what? Doing it like that ain't, but... Seems to be a little bit quicker. Unfortunately, us doing it like this is going to take us a little while to get most of it done. Oh, that was a bit quicker. Damn, it went off again. Right, there we go. I've got to, like, go with it. Okay, no. That's <laughs> that's not what I wanted at all. And that seems to be right. And then we'll do the same over here. Okay, no. Let's not have that. None of this funny business. There we are. Beautiful. This is basically like a... A let's build playthrough at this point. <laughs> I'm not even building properly because they can't do it. So I'm just <laughs> I'm just cheating everything in. It's pretty fantastic. So that seems to be a fairly good design right there for well to start off with. I actually really think it's a good idea just to copy and paste it over. Can I do that? I probably could. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, game. I don't care. Go away. All right, we'll get rid of this. See, now I won't be able to build it because it's probably just bugged out forever now. If I um, just see if I can, that'd be pretty fantastic. So we can't really make proper doorways, unfortunately. So we'll have to just make a hole. <laughs> That's just going to be how it's work. Well, going to work out. So like this. That's actually probably too thin. Make, make it go four up. That's probably going to work out. It looks kind of weird, but you know what? We'll live with it. Oh, it just took me off there for a second then. That is fine. Not really. It's not fine at all, actually. And then we'll build up here again. Yep, that's fine. At least we can do these parts very quickly. Don't have to do it one by one. How far are we going here? Okay. I don't know why I'm only going this far up. I feel like maybe there's going to be a floor here that I'm going to add. Now, uh, ladders in that lot will be added uh, afterwards. So we don't have to worry about that. You know, can they get up and down or not? Of course they will. We've got ladders. It's going to be beautiful. Can't even be on by recording for so long now. This is fantastic. Let's see, if we go up here. Beautiful. Nearly there. Okay, yeah, we're leveled up now. We've leveled up. Okay, we'll get rid of them. At least we can save our builds. So if anything bad happens, we can get them built. Well, we don't have to rebuild them. Anyway, I'm afraid it won't let me save again. That's the real issue I'm having right now. Um, I should probably try very quickly. Okay, yeah, it's letting me save. That's good. Usually it won't let you save. You just click in, like the save icon at the bottom will just like spawn out of nowhere. It's really weird. And then it won't save at all. And the only way to fix that is to go out and back in, unfortunately. Which means you lose all your progress. So the save functionality <laughs> was useless. It's fantastic. However, alpha is alpha. I understand that. But it's been alpha for a while. <laughs> Let's see. So do we want it to poke out a little bit more there? Maybe not. But we want to make it start arching. And I think that kind of thing needs to take place. Oh, God, that's the issue, actually. Because we need both towers in order to have it work efficiently. We can just remove some of the edits, I suppose. Can we remove saves? If we go on here, click on this. No, we can't actually remove the templates. So we don't really want to save this individual piece. 
But we can delete parts of it, so I think that'll be fine. Now, we've got to have some windows right here. So if we just go ahead and make, like, some small windows. Do we want it to be like this? Do you want it to poke out a little bit? I kind of do. Or maybe poke in. Probably poking it in would make a little bit more sense. But I think we'll live with that. Um, this part's not the same shape. No, no, you know it is. It is. Don't worry, it is. It's about to go nuts there. <laughs> I was about to go completely insane, but it, nope, it's fine. We we'll probably should make this out of a different block type. This uh, poke, uh, this bit poking out. Probably would be a good idea. What kind of block type do you want to use? Like a darker block or a lighter one? It's really hard to see when it's all highlighted in yellow like this. I guess we'll use the slightly darker version. There we go. At least you can see it individually now. Then we'll go back to this block type. Two across, two across. Go along like this. There we are. Go back to the dark one. The dark one. Don't want that there. Alright, there we go. I think it's a bit weird with those windows, actually. Can we make that work? Probably not. That's the thing. Uh, if we get rid of that one and that one and that one, then that might make it work out a little bit more. Oh, we'll go on this side. There we go. And then we just won't put one at the bottom or one at the top there. We'll just have it keep going up like this. There we go. I think that looks a bit better. Looks like it's being guarded from some of the angles. That's good. It's nice to see. We're going to have it poke out at this point. So it should be good. Um, it's too far up at that bit, but that's fine. What brick do we use there? I think we used the darker one, so it should be good there. It seems the highlight in the same shade of yellow uh, for the, to indicate the different block types that are being used. So it's pretty helpful in that regard. There we go. Get the corners right here. But if you're using predominant block, well, one block type predominantly, then it's going to be pretty hard to actually notice what part is actually being used. So let's see. Now we want it to poke out. And I think I want to use the this gray slab right here. Or actually, no. We'll use the uh, the window one that we've been using. There we go. And then we'll have it chisel around like this. Probably don't want it to do the corner right there. But I think now I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. Beautiful. Well, now I guess we have to do it like that. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it on the other side as well. Okay, that was actually the only one we missed for some reason. And then we'll make it... To poke out by one more, or... I think we can if we... Oh. What was that? Okay. That was a bit weird. Alright, so if we have it poke out like this. There we go. That looks nice. Merv's eating something. Which isn't good. Because he's making very loud noises. All right, there we go. And we'll have to try and do something similar here. How does this work? So it would be up here. And on this side, it would be about here. Beautiful. And then we'll poke it out more. There we are. Beautiful. All right, and now... We'll start to build it upwards like this. It doesn't look amazing just yet, but we'll get there. Starting to get there. I think we need to have like pillars from the bottom here to sort of connect. Like if we have some extra pillars connect to this window here. I think this is going to help shape it. Yeah, that looks nice. Let's keep going with that. There we are. Beautiful. Lovely. And I think... Yeah, we kind of want to do it on this side as well. But what we'll do is we'll go around the doorway. Like this. There we go. And then we'll just have it... Actually, that's not going to entirely work out. Since we wanted to do that. And I think that's good. Yeah, that works out. I still feel like we need a little bit more on the outside, though, because it's just not enough. Like, are these corner pieces right here? For some reason, it keeps disconnecting that bit. We want to probably have an extra inner chisel. There we go. I think that helps out a little bit. Gonna start looking like a cup. I think that's really the point. I want to make sure it looks a bit like a cup at the top there. 
Yeah, that's good. Do we want something at the bottom? Like, do we want this extra little bit here? Or is that going to be too much? 